I'm Overprotected Atheist, and welcome to my channel. There I was, sitting in Sunday school like any other Sunday. We were learning about Jesus and why he was the Messiah. Jesus fulfilled over 300 prophecies. Jesus performed miracles. Jesus came from the line of David. He died and rose again, and he promised to come back and take his church home. Did Jesus really fulfill all the Old Testament prophecies? Today we're going to look at why Jesus was not the Jewish Messiah. What do the Jews believe about the Messiah? There are four prophecies that the Jews look to to find out who will be the Messiah. Number one, the Messiah will rebuild the temple. Number two, he will gather all Jews back to the land of Israel. Number three, he will usher in an era of world peace. Number four, he will spread universal knowledge of the God of Israel. Today, I would like to look at number three, the ushering in of world peace. According to the Old Testament, the Messiah will bring peace to all nations of the world. Weapons will be destroyed. The world will be a better place for everyone. Did Jesus come to bring peace? In Matthew 10, 34, he states, I came not to bring peace, but a sword. If Jesus was the promised Messiah, he would have created a peaceful world the first time he was here. Instead, religion has been a plague on humanity, causing war, death, and destruction in the name of God. Another reason that Jesus could not be the Messiah as he said, anyone who comes to me and does not hate his own father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and even his own life, cannot be my disciple. Jesus came to conquer and destroy. Like any cult leader knows, if you can separate people from the ones they love, it's much easier to control them. The last piece of evidence I would like to look at is obeying the Torah. According to the Jewish faith, the Messiah will keep the law and help others of the Jewish faith also keep the law. The Torah is a binding contract between God and man. It cannot be changed. Anyone who claims it can be is considered to be a false prophet. Jesus is seen many times in the New Testament changing the laws of the Torah. In John 9:14, he violated the Sabbath by healing a man's eyes with mud. By violating the Sabbath and telling people to hate their families, Jesus had stopped obeying the Torah and was leading others to do the same. This would make Jesus a false prophet and not the Jewish Messiah. When I was a Christian, I always believed what people were telling me. I never doubted or questioned. I would always listen to the preacher every Sunday and know what he was saying was true. I never thought I would do my own research and find out what they were telling me was not the truth at all. If you liked my video today and would like to support me, you can check out my PayPal or Patreon. Links below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And thanks for watching.